Hi everybody! Today I'm outside this old house uh, to do some metal detecting. I got permission and it's real handy because right across the street from my sister's house. So this will be nice and I found a few things already. Some uh, just junk metal and foil but I got this thing. Let's see what it is. Um, this is right over there where the front step should be. Don't know what that is, but uh, maybe you do. Let's see what else we can find. Well, this piece of metal uh, sounded good, um, like 81 on the AT Pro. And it was folded up and I unfolded it and it looks like maybe it's some kind of strainer. I don't really know. Well, I just found one of these old uh, lawn hose squirter things, whatever they're called. <laughs> well, this piece of metal rang up an 81, so had me going. I guess it's copper. Well, I had a really good signal and guess what it was? A mason jar lid with the insert. Okay, let's see if we can find anything else. All right, I didn't, I'm gonna stop for now, but I've been getting a lot of old can slaw. This sounded good. Um, that, so we'll see what we get over there tomorrow maybe. Well, I'm right here by the road and I dug up these things. Not sure what they are, just some trash, but it rang up an 81 on the AT Pro. Well, I just got another high tone and uh, some kind of little metal bottle down a couple inches with some sort of label on there. Hmm, don't know what that is. Well, I found this piece of metal down a couple inches. <laughs> Not sure what that goes to. Well, I got this mystery metal. It rang up a 60 on the AT Pro. What is it? Well, I just found these two items out of this hole. wonder what this is. And something from the clothesline. Yeah, I wonder where they have their clothesline here. Hmm. But I'm right here by the road because... Um, you know, a railroad came through town, and I, I think it went down this street, uh, down that way. So, it'd be kind of cool to find an old railroad spike, but I don't know if I will. Well, let's find out. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a, a helmet on a, let's cup. If I know what this could be. Let me know. Alright, so this is what I've got so far. And um, I'm going to clean this up a little and see what this says right here. I don't know what that is. And that rang up like around 70. This is very light. And yeah, I want to clean that up, see what that is. And, um, don't know what that is. You got a battery uh, clamp or whatever you want to call this. So let's see what else we can find. Hi everybody, I'm back at the ranch today. Uh, I didn't get to finish up there at that old house, but maybe someday I'll go back. But I'm back out at the ranch and I'm gonna be doing uh, where the uh, old road came off the hillside right behind me and uh, comes into the orchard. So here's what used to be the orchard. And a couple weeks ago, I had a video about that. And uh, it's pretty windy out here today. Pepper is here to help me. And so is Muffy. She's over there. What do you think, Pepper? Oh yeah. Well, a couple inches down, I found a, an old shotgun head stamp. I wonder what it says on there. I'll check that out. Well, I just dug up another shotgun head stamp, but it's falling apart. Okay, I just got an 82 signal a couple inches down. 
and it looks like it has some fancy stuff on it. Let's get it cleaned up. Okay, this thing has a real pretty silvery finish. However, it's uh, very light. Looks like there's a little latch right there, maybe. Um, something must have went there. You think this is a piece of jewelry or some kind of horse tack? You guys, I think I just dug up my dad's old, well, part of my dad's old toy gun. I'll show you a picture of him. Maybe it's the one he's holding in his hand. Well, this was funny, you guys, because uh, I had just dug up a tin can lid, you know, old style, and I covered up the hole, and then I t checked the hole with the detector, and it still said 85 to 90. And I'm like, no, I'll, I'll just leave the rest of that can there. And I'm like, well, what if it's not a can? <laughs> so I dug it up, and this was in there too, just to the, the next to it. Wow, so maybe that other thing is part of the toy. Let's see if we can find the rest of this gun. I wonder what the handle would test that fast. I think I found another piece of that gun. Let's see if we can find more. I just dug up this big piece and uh, oops, I dropped the other one on the ground. So finding more of it. Woohoo! There's a couple little pieces. Got another shotgun head stamp, Federal number 12 Monarch. Well, I just dug this up. It's kind of a high iron signal. I wonder what it is. Weird. Looks like a little crown. <laughs> well, I am going to call it a day. I'm getting cold out here with all this wind. Uh, so I'll show a picture of dad with his toy cowboy outfit. Yeah, it can get kind of scary during windstorms when you're in the house. But it's a west wind, so it's blowing away. South wind is the scary one. It's blowing that way. <laughs> okay, I wasn't out here too long. And uh, so I didn't find too much, except for this uh, cool pieces to the old pistol. And this, you know, perhaps it was connected to this somehow, or maybe it's something totally different. I'm not sure. And those items. This is what I found in the same hole as this. Like right next to it, like an inch away. <laughs> that was funny. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Have a great day. Here's an early picture of town looking north. Join me in these videos to go on some more treasure hunting adventures. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing and smash that like button. Thank you so much for watching.